Pasok mo kayo. Sorry po, Doc. Uh, good morning. I am Dr. Jevin Justin Irineo. I am a ENT specialist. And uh, you are Mr. Steve Espedido. Mr. Yes, Joshua Steve, tama po ba? May I call you Joshua? Okay, sir. Kumusta po pakiramdam nyo? Uh, okay naman po, Doc. Okay, so wala naman ng problema. So, Mr. Steve, ngayon po ay nakaschedule po kayo for your physical examination of the nose. Tama po ba? May mga questions po ba kayo sa akin? Uh, paano po ba ginagawa yun? Uh, basically, yung physical examination ng nose natin, nahati sa dalawang parts. Meron tayong tinatawag na external exam o panlabas at internal exam panloob. Basically, ang ginagawa lang po natin pag external exam, titingnan lang po natin at hahawakan yung ilong nyo kung meron po mga pamamaga, deformities at kung ano pa. Yung internal exam naman po is meron po akong ipapasok na speculum para po masilip ko yung loob ng inyong ilong. Uh, may makakaramdam lang po kayo ng konting discomfort pero hindi naman po ito masakit. Uh, tatandaan nyo po, pag medyo nasasaktan po kayo, sabihin nyo kagad sa akin para may hinto muna natin yung procedure. Okay? The light source should be at point source if possible. It can be a simple 100 watt or stronger light bulb situated on a goose and extend without a reflector. The light is positioned slightly behind the just to the right of the patient's head. The most useful side's head mirror has 3.5 inch diameter with a 1.5 inch bowl in the center and focal length of about 14 inches. The hem ear is positioned over the spot of light through the hole in the center of the mirror as well as with other eye. The mirror should be as close to the physician's face as possible to provide a wide angle of view. The examiner then directs the area of the patient to be examined into the field of view and to avoid repositioning himself. So examination of the nose. You should look on the outside to look for any obvious lesions or scars, any deviation or any asymmetry. So first of all, look from the front and then you look from the side. And then you ask the patient to turn towards you a little bit. And then tilt the tip of the nose so that you can see the vestibules to look for any lesions ulcers or any scars and then you use a speculum to have a look inside the nostrils. The nose is divided into two cavities. The midline structure is known as the nasal septum. The mucosa is usually pink. Lateral to the lower nasal septum are the inferior turbinates which when enlarged may be mistaken for a nasal polyp. The turbinates tend to be pink in color. If it is erythematous, it tends to suggest inflammation. If it appears pale blue, allergy should be suspected.